All right, greetings everyone. This is Eric, uh, founder and CEO of Cubicle Investing. Definitely, vis definitely visit the website, uh, cubicleinvesting.com. And there you can download my free ebook where you can learn the basics of options trading. So I got into this Iron Condor, which is a, uh, a vertical call credit spread and also a vertical put credit spread. I got into this position uh, this morning uh, expecting that the market would pretty much uh, trade in a in a pretty uh, tight range because we have the FOMC meeting that's going to take place tomorrow and also Wednesday. So Wednesday is the day that the Fed, um, the chairman of the Federal Reserve, uh, Jerome Powell, is going to announce the the interest rate hike. So uh, that takes place at roughly around uh, two o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I think um, I'm anticipating that today and tomorrow, essentially the market is going to um, be in a state of uncertainty. Because again, um, you know, the market is pretty much banking on the fact that the uh, Federal Reserve is going to increase the interest rate hike by 75 basis points, which is 0.75%. However, they don't, they, you know, they're not, they're not, you know, they're not sure, you know, so not certain so as a result today and tomorrow i think the market is going to be you know trading in a in a rather tight range and so as a result i decided to uh to put on a, uh, a position on both sides of the market right so here's the market here so i went on both sides i went on the put side as well as the uh the call side so i sold the 38 uh, 35 strike price and I bought the 38.25 strike price right so that's a vertical put credit spread uh, three contracts I sold and the same uh, on the call side so three contracts on the call side so I sold the uh, 39.25 strike and I bought the 39.35 strike so that creates an on condor. So essentially the objective, and let me just show you the, uh, the, the, uh, the credit I took in. So I took in $285, right? So roughly uh, I've made 26% of that thus far. So $75. And also in my uh, uh, Think or Swim account, I put on a just a vertical call credit spread where I've made so far $164 and, and some change. So the objective of the trade essentially is, when I say objective, so the objective of the trade for me to walk away with the entire $285 is for the price of SPX, right? So the price of SPX, the actual price is here, but this circle represents the uh, the actual value of SPX. So the objective is for the price of SPX or this circle here to stay above my strike price of 38.35 on the put side and stay below my strike price of 39.25 on the call side. So as long as this price is in the middle. Uh, come 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time when the market closes. Uh, essentially, I walk away, you know, very simply with the $285. Uh, so, yeah, uh, again, and I, I'm, I might even consider putting on an additional uh, vertical call credit spread. Um, but, however, I don't like to do that too often. I like to just put on a position. I don't want to get too greedy because, you know, when you think, when you get too greedy, oftentimes the uh, the market can um, can can uh, come back and smack you, and you end up losing money. So I'm probably going to stay with these uh, two positions that I have on here, and just let them ride out. So as I as I normally do, I'll come back and give you guys an update as to how the position is going, and hopefully you guys are learning something. Hopefully you guys have ha have had a chance to uh, download my free ebook at cubicleinvesting.com. Um, it's a great ebook. Uh, it's free, you know, and um, it teaches you the basics of uh, options trading. I do have a a uh, another ebook that's on the website where it costs twenty five bucks, but you also get access to videos that you can download 
and use as a reference for you know your um your options trading all right i'm back so it is uh 3 43 p.m so we got roughly 15 minutes before the market is set to close as you can see here the price of the underline is smack dab in the middle exactly where i need it to be below my strike price on the put side of 38.35 i'm sorry above my strike price on the put side of 38.35 and below my strike price on the call side of 39.25 all right, so the current price is 38.83 and some change. As you can see here, the expected move has decreased rather significantly. It was when the market first opened, or actually before the market opened, it was it was plus or minus 45. And now we are down to plus or minus six. So not much more movement is expected from uh, the SPX. If we look at the position itself, as you can see here, I have made the $285, which I received for initially selling the uh, two vertical credit spreads, which is an Iron Condor. And then in my, uh, think of swim account, I have made uh, on two trades, $223. Uh, $23. So again, not a difficult thing to achieve after you have done this for a while. So again, um, at least at this moment, uh, my goal is three to five hundred dollars per day. And again, you know, uh, just FYI, I just started trading these um, zero DTE SPX trades. So before that, uh, before this. I was primarily in a trade in a position for two weeks to a month. And so the reason why I'm starting out slow, just you know, just looking to make three to five hundred dollars per, per day is because again, this is a new strategy for me. So I like to take things slow and sort of uh, you know, as I get familiar with um, the strategy, the new strategy that I'm implementing. You know, I will uh, start to scale up. So I'll go from three contracts or six contracts to, uh, you know, nine and, and possibly 20. You know, so it's all about, you know, pacing yourself and, um, and really earning your, um, your size. You know, meaning, meaning, you know, you want to start out, you want your size to be small initially, but then as you get comfortable with the strategy, then you can scale up, you know, so you actually are earning um, the ability to scale up in size so yeah so uh, unless something unusually extreme happens right now uh with you know with news or with the market um yeah i'll be walking away you know the price should pretty much you know be somewhere at the the final closing price should be somewhere between 38.75 and 38.85